Well, what's up, guys? Colin Wiseman, Homegrown, uh, Kushberger, Audiovisual, Tactical. Uh, <laughs> I never say your name because I don't know if people are going to find that inappropriate, but it is funny. Uh, so what's up, Tactical? Eddie. What's up, Eddie? Uh, watch you need. <laughs> the names are coming in pretty fast. So uh, what's up, everybody? Brent Spenlove, uh, President Chief Engineer of Advanced Vape Supply, for those of you that don't know me. Uh, just going to do a quick demonstration today. I'm going to set up the Molecule 22, hit it as a wax pen, hit it as an e-rig, and hit it as an e-nail. I will not be answering any questions during the demonstration. However, if you have questions, I'll be happy to sit and chill and hang out with you guys and answer questions after. For those of you who have seen my lives, after I get baked, I tend to get very talkative. So there's a good chance that, uh, you know, I'll be blabbing a little bit towards the end. So uh, no questions to start. Uh, for those of you who watch this video later, this is being broadcast live on Instagram. So there will not be any cuts, edits, etc. This is a live demonstration. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get started. Looks like we got quite a few of you in here, probably enough in here to go ahead and start. And anyone who's not in here, they can catch it later. So let's go ahead and start. I completely disassembled my M22 and cleaned it for, for this little demonstration. So we have our deck, our zirconia, our ESCC, metal housing, glass strip tip, and the top cap. So all nice and cleaned up. We have our mod, and this is what we're going to start with. This is everything that we need to hit it as a wax pen. Uh, I guess we will need some spring clips. So I have not pre-installed the uh, clips. Doing this all from scratch, just as if I were a customer who just got my kit and I needed to set it up to take my first rip. Uh, so uh, Zach Profeta, I will be saving this video and I will be posting it up on Instagram and I'll probably post it to Reddit afterwards. So. No one needs to screen record this. Uh, I mean, you can if you want, I don't care. But just letting you know, <laughs> uh, we will save this live to the page and I will post it to Reddit afterwards. I might even put it on YouTube. I'm not sure. Uh, there's been a lot of people that haven't been able to catch these lives and then they're, you know, they get sad or whatever, feel left out. And I don't want anybody to feel left out. I love you all. I want to hang out with you all. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a super busy guy and I have to prioritize my time. And so I've chosen Instagram because we have over 5,000 followers here, whereas on YouTube we have less than 300. So for me to reach more people with my very limited amount of time, IG just makes the most sense. But I will save this and I will post it up so anyone who misses this can watch it later. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, get started. So pull out a couple spring clips here. I'll be using the new spring clip installation tool. We have been including these with orders, um, or if you request it. So if you order some more spring clips and you do not have this tool, tell us, and we will put it in your order for free. So, uh, sure beats buying it for 16 bucks. I know it sounds expensive, but this is made out of 17 dash four precipitation hardened stainless steel. So it's a very expensive material, uh, but guaranteed to last. So as you guys have come to learn about us, we care more about durability uh, and quality uh, above all else. So, all right, uh, well, I'm skipping ahead here. We need to put the atomizer on the mod first. Uh, we have a nice little platform to uh, install the springs. So here's the spring clip. I am not gonna go over my installation method because I just, ins I just posted two install videos on Reddit. Uh, as well as on our website. So you can catch my installation method there for the details if you want to know how I'm doing this. And pop it up. So... I am just gonna ditch that spring. I accidentally pushed it down too fast, which caused one of the tabs to get caught. So something I tell you not to do in my video, don't rush yourself, don't push it down too fast, uh, or what just happened to me might happen to you. So it's important you just make sure it's lined up right, like I just did, and then gently and slowly push it down into the post like that. When you rush yourself, you're more likely to mess things up. So it's just 
take that five extra seconds to just do it right the first time. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pop this side down in, just like that. So again, don't try to rush that part. <laughs> don't do what I did the first spring. And uh, that's it. So that's installing the spring clips. Those are done. We're using the V2 ESCC today. I do not have a V1 on the table to compare it to. Uh, so those of you that don't know the difference, just trust me, this is a lot bigger than the V1 and it's a lot easier to install than the V1. Uh, you do not need to prep the springs to install the V2. I live, live video. Oh, apparently I lost connection. <laughs> so we're back. So anyway, you do not need to prep the springs. I, however, do like to still insert just one leg into each side uh, very gently and cautiously. And that just ensures that uh, when I do go to install the uh, spring clip, I won't have any issues. So after I've done that, line that up, line it up with the springs, and there we go. The V1 ESCC is now installed and we'll power on the mod. It's gonna ask me if it's a new coil, which it is, 0.52 ohm, which it is. So everything checks out. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. I'm going to leave it in this regular mode. We'll talk about the modes here in a second when I switch it to an e-rig. So that's all it takes to install the ESCC, despite, you know, some people try to make it sound way more complicated than it is. It really comes down to patience and just following the directions. Don't get frustrated. <laughs> if you get frustrated, you're just going to work yourself into a frenzy. You're going to start just ah, mashing everything together. And ultimately, it's not going to be a good time. So you just take your time. Be patient about it. Watch my videos and uh, you'll have a good time with it. All right. So let's see what dab Brock picked me up today. I actually don't know. I sent Brock to go get some dab. So we have LA Dog, Mac Punch. Mac Punch is a good one. You want to see the V1 next to the V2 real quick. I don't have a V1 right here with me, so I'd actually have to go get one. So I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, I'll put, I could post a picture to the, uh, as a post, if you guys want to see the, the difference there or, or a story or something. So, yeah. Uh, which dab do you guys want me to hit? We want the Mac Punch, the Lime Cookies, or the LA Dog, or does it even matter? You guys just want to see me rip this thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for LA Dog. So that's the LA Dog, some live diamonds. Really good stuff. It's by Viola. Oh, Mac and Lime. Now I'm getting some answers and it's conflicting with what I chose. I'll do the the Mac or Lime in the next one, but uh, and a dab tool. All right, so <clears throat> I do not want to get completely destroyed on this first rip. So for the first rip, I am only loading a little bit. That's all I need, and I'm gonna get a full size rip. Don't you worry about that. So, uh, yeah. Drop that in. Now it does help to just give it like a, a one second or two second pulse, just like that. Kind of just pre warms it, pre melts it a little bit. Whoa. And my temp was set to 500. So I was doing some testing earlier. <laughs> I wasn't hitting it at that temp. Um, for those of you that know, 450 on the Molecule 22 will pretty much vaporize the entire dab. So going up to 500 is not only unnecessary, it's just a, a waste of power and it's going to make your hit harsh and taste bad. So I recommend not going over 450 uh, to everybody. And we are going to go ahead and do this at 450. Mm. So that was delicious. And as you could see from that tiny, tiny little dab, I got a nice cloud. Um, 
and all that's left is a tiny bit of just, uh, let's see if I can get the lighting. <laughs> just a tiny bit of dark residue is all that's left behind. So just reclaim the stuff that you don't want to vaporize. So go ahead and swab that out. <clears throat> but that's how simple it was. You guys saw me set it up, set it up as a wax pen, and then rip it in temp control just like that. No fidgeting with it, no tinkering with it. The mod is smart. It's going to calibrate its own TFR on the fly, essentially. So, you know, it's one heating element, which opens up a lot of capabilities for us in programming the mod. Um, you know, we can... With other mods like a DNA, for example, they're made to control so many different atomizers and so many different heating elements that they can't do a lot of the things that we're doing with this mod. Um, and ultimately, that makes a huge difference. So uh, we ripped it as a wax pen. Now we're going to go ahead and set it up as an e-rig. The step's pretty simple. Take your metal housing off. Grab your bubbler. Oh, the step I always forget. <laughs> Put your carb tether on first. And all you do is rotate it down onto the O-rings. Oh. And insert it into our silicone base. So, uh, li uh, Mac or Lime this time? You guys were, were conflicted. I saw Mac and Lime in the in the first one to answer, Mac or Lime? <laughs> Lowest temp to dab at. Uh, I mean, technically, you could dab as low as like 300 degrees, but I wouldn't recommend going below 360 because at that point, there's a lot of the desirable compounds that you want to vaporize that you're not going to vaporize that low. So I'd say 360 is about the lowest you want to go. Mac was the first answer, and there were two people that said Mac, so we will go with Mac Punch which is actually one of my favorites. So it is a mix of Dosi Punch, Orange Cookie Mac, and Sunset Mac. And that's what it looks like. Oh, smells freaking delicious. <laughs> uh, all right. So again, nice little dab, drop it in the bowl. Probably can't see that because I don't have lights coming from the front. All the lights are off to the sides, kind of. So, uh, temp is still set to 450. However, now that we have it set up as a rig, I know the screen's kind of blurry and doesn't show well on the camera, but uh, bear with me. So, we're going to go ahead and switch it to rig mode. And what that did is it added that little timer right there that lets me set amount of time. Uh, I'm going to do 16 seconds because any more than that is too much for me. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys try to max out this timer. <laughs> if you can, that's the challenge. And if you can, send me a video because I want to see you maxing out the timer and taking a fat rip. Um, and if you do it and you want more time, I'll add more time. So uh, let's go ahead and rip this little pre-melt as is tradition and away we go. Sixty second hits. <laughs> Don't make me choke on my dab, man. 60 seconds. <coughs> That'd be ridiculous. That was 16 seconds. <coughs> so, <coughs> now we've hit it as an e-rig. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough, guys. I really am. But, two dabs back to back. <coughs> two big dabs. <coughs> big for me, anyway. All right, so. Swab that out, as you can see, just some dark oil. The undesirable stuff, that's why we use temp control. So, now we will switch it to an e-nail. And I'm getting a little head change going, not little, it's pretty big head change, so I'm trying to like stay on target, not start just blabbing off a million tangents like I normally do when I get baked, so. 
Uh, the silicone base also makes a nice way to store your bubbler. So when you're not using the bubbler, you can just set it in the base, set it off to the side. And that's what I do with it. So for the uh, e-nail kit, the next step is to remove your atomizer and attach the cable. Nice, flexible, long cable that I can't show in the screen because it's too long. But, uh, or I guess, there you go, look. You can see the full length of the cable. Um, so for this step, it's easiest just to turn the mod instead of like whipping the cable around, unless you want to helicopter your cable while you're tightening it on. So tighten it like that, got it on there. Reinstall the atomizer. And then <clears throat> we have our nifty little e-nail base. So our little ISO dipping tank, some little storage for dab tools. Uh, there's also this magnetic dab tool holder right there. Uh, and the, that magnetic dab tool holder is not limited to small tools. It is designed to hold bigger tools and it will hold them from falling. So, not that you're going to pick up your e-nail base and shake it like I just did. At least I hope not, because there's really no reason for that. So, uh, next step, we go ahead and we insert the mod into the e-nail base, like so. And now that we're hitting it as an e-nail, we're going to want to switch it to nail mode. There you go. Now we have a nice landscape portrait, or uh, <laughs> not landscape portrait view, landscape view. Ah, I'm baked. See, now this is getting hard for me to get through this. So landscape view, and uh, you can see same timer, all of that, and it calibrates for use with the cable. So now it knows that it's on the cable and it can calibrate for that. Uh, the next step, transfer our carb cap over to the bottomless banger. Unless you have multiple carb caps or using a glass carb cap, then you don't have to do that, obviously. So we got the carb tether on there. We're going to go ahead and insert that like so. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know this, when you push this down, you can do a, a slight twisting motion and it will actually lock that glass joint in so we don't have a loose joint. So, uh, all right, we did the Mac, we did the LA dog. So the third dab is gonna be the lime cookies, <clears throat> which is insanely terpy. You can see my eyes are crazy bloodshot already. Holy shit. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna cough. There's probably no way around that. It's gonna be a big rip. And the terps increase that that burn a little bit so you're more likely to cough. So here we go. Got some lime. This time it is a big grand finale dab. I'm already toasted, but whatever. Just for you guys. <clears throat> I'm just answering emails after this. So if any of you get a response from me in email that seems slightly uh, nonsensical, you know why. <laughs> so uh, I'll do my best. All right. Again, I'm going to do a little pre-melt, like one or two seconds, just to, again, slightly warm the crucible and just get things rolling. So. Oh man, now that, that was a fat rip. The cloud never shows on camera, but I mean, it's just cloudy in here right now, all around me, behind me. I mean, it's just, I feel like somebody threw a fog machine in here or something, <coughs> but I'm baked. <coughs> so <coughs> that's probably all I have. I am willing to answer questions. If anyone has a quick question for me, 
Uh, down at the bottom of the screen, there is a little chat bubble with a question mark in it. If you have a question, put it in there and I'd be more than happy to answer it. While, <coughs> while I last, I can't guarantee how much longer I'm going to be on here. I do have a lot of work to do, so. I am indeed baked. <coughs> that was three back-to-back -back fat ribs. <coughs> Ooh. And I don't know if you guys saw that last one. That was pretty fat. So. <coughs> All right. Looks like we did get one question. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to cough. Uh, we will be doing whole wholesale for smoke shops, yes. So. We have a wholesale program already. Unfortunately, uh, we've been so backed up. I mean, this, a lot of people don't know this. This product came out two years ago. So the, not the whole kit, but we launched the Atomizer when it was developed as we were developing the rest of the kit. So the Atomizer itself has been out for two years. Uh, and the Atomizer you see me using is actually my original M22 that is uh, almost three years old now. Uh, so three-year-old, three-year-old Atomizer. Uh, and uh, we're about to get caught up on all of our orders, though. Our supply chain's pretty much figured out now, so we will have wholesale here very soon. A uh, bunch of questions came in. <coughs> would, <coughs> would I ever take a fat dab? Yeah, I'd do a fat dab, but it would have to be like the first one and not three dabs back to back to back. So that was Elijah Alcantar. <laughs> Uh, I need a drink. When are the beta mods shipping? Frank Chase asks. So, uh, me and Dan have been working around the clock on that and we're hoping this week. So, uh, we've been making really, really good progress, uh, with that. So <coughs> when are we getting new merch? Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about like the hoodies and stuff. Uh, one of our customers actually is a screen printer, and he sent me a bunch of mock-ups and stuff, so I, I really just need to place the order with him. And uh, <laughs> he wants me to trade partial for Molecule Toy 2 for some of it, but, like, you know, I I need way more than he just, the cost of one Molecule 22, so I'm going to have to pay him for that. But, yeah, we're hiring a customer to make us new merch. So if any of you guys do anything professionally that you think ABS could use, I'd be more than happy to hire customers. Uh, to do stuff like that. Our pre-order still set to ship this month. We are working our ass off on that. So as of right now, uh, I don't really, I can't really say that there's any new update on that. Uh, we're still working away and everything seems like it's on target. So I am relying on, you know, a dozen other factories to meet their deadlines as well. And if any of them slip, then that's going to push us back. But, you know, I'll make sure to keep everyone updated. We have a new weekly blog post update that I will be posting all pertinent new information to. Uh, let's see. How much taller and wider is the V2 ESEC? So surprisingly, it's, you know, like maybe half a millimeter taller and only a millimeter wider. <laughs> but that little bit makes a huge difference. Uh, let's see. If I order one, how long will it take to get to me? So that depends. It depends on the kit that you're ordering or the gear that you're ordering. So you would have to look at the dates on our website or contact customer support with a specific product to find out. <clears throat> how hot can the ESCC get? How hot can you get it? Or how hot could it get is really the question. So you should not exceed 600 degrees. Um, originally, our mod was going to go up to 710, but there's just reasons not to do that. So no reason to go that hot. How hot can it technically get? It could reach over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but I would not recommend that either. How does the auto TCR function work? Is it able to tell what temp it is at cold? Correct. So the mod, you have to set it up when it's room temperature and you have to basically tell it that. So initially when I set mine up, it knew the resistance at the start. And when I changed it from an e-rig or an e-nail, I didn't have to recalibrate or do anything like that. It just knew that it was the same one. And it's it's uh, if the mod can identify that you change something, it will ask you. If if you change something and it doesn't ask you because it can't tell, then you just need to tell it to recalibrate. Uh, 
Let's see. All right, I think I answered most of these questions. The, oh, uh, date for the beta mods. So the people that will be receiving the beta mods that we're shipping out soon, it is October 29th. So if you placed your order before October 29th, you will be receiving a beta mod very soon and anything else you might be waiting for. Uh, if we're holding any of your orders, it might be because we're shipping you the beta mod. So we want to just ship it all together uh, at once. Let's see. Damn, you guys are flooding me with questions right now. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen this many questions. Is there a performance advantage of the e nail versus E-Rig? Uh, to be honest, that's up to you. I I love the Molecule 22 as an E-Rig. It is my preferred go-to, to be honest. So uh, I also love it as a wax pen. Uh, like when I travel out of state or something, I just take it as a wax pen. And uh, I don't bring springs with me or anything. I, I don't worry about it. I just clean it up, do a fresh install before I go, and I can leave, you know, and not worry about anything. So it's, for me, it's been the most dependable uh, wax pen that I've ever had. <laughs> That's why I built it. Uh, let's see. Does the CT calculate for non-AVS cables? No, it doesn't. Uh, we can't, there just wouldn't be a way for us to do that because we can't, we don't know the length of the cable, so we don't know how, how much the voltage is being affected or other factors. So it's just not possible for us to calibrate it to other cables, unfortunately. Uh, but it is calibrated for our cable and, uh, I mean, I could look into some things, so. What's the weight if I order an e-rig kit now? So that's listed on our site, but we're shooting for the end of this month. But, uh, you know, like I said, we're a small American manufacturer, so delays do happen, and they have happened. Uh, so if you are hesitant on shipping dates, just wait to place the order till we actually have it in stock. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of a waiting list, uh, kind of thing. Carrying cases. Uh, yes, I plan to make a carrying case. I will show my CAD drawings and designs. I love community feedback. So for a lot of you that aren't from Reddit, uh, I love Reddit for this. So this is where I'll, Reddit's where I go to show stuff off, talk about it, uh, because Reddit's more of like a conversational type of place. And uh, so I go to Reddit, I drop new designs, and I speak with them about it. So when I'm ready with the carrying case, I'll drop that on Reddit and I'll get people's feedback on that. <clears throat> uh, what is the best way to clean the ESEC? Can I torch it? I would recommend not torching it. Uh, steel wool works fantastic. Uh, let's see. Can I use this mod to vape juice as well? Uh, I mean, we haven't tested it for that, honestly. It, and it's not calibrated for that either. So it's 100% of our mod has been built around the Molecule 22 and the ESCC. It can run other wax atomizers, but its, it's heating profiles don't work like a DNA. It doesn't work like an eSig mod. It's entirely different. And that's why we built this mod. I mean, everything out there was for eSig, and it, do, it just doesn't work right uh, for various reasons that I won't get into right now. <clears throat> Great question, by the way. When are you shipping to distributors in Canada? Is it better to order direct? So you will definitely get your order faster if you order from us directly. But as soon as we get our wholesale network up, then yeah, we'll get Canada stocked up, the UK stocked up, uh, the Herb Cafe, as well as another uh, I've been talking to another store. I forget his name right now off the top of my head. But uh, so we'll have two distributors in Canada. We'll have we have one in the UK um, and we have various distributors elsewhere. So we're definitely going to be pushing for wholesale. Uh, current ETA for American made mod elite kit pre-orders uh, by the end of March, current ETA. So hoping uh, like. Not end of March. I'm hoping sooner than that, actually, much sooner than that. But I, <laughs> it's hard to give these dates so that people like hold me to them very intensely. So watch our site for the updates. I will have an update this uh, this week on that. Actually, sorry about that. I don't know why my phone's going crazy. Uh, let's see. Can you run? 
the M22 is a coil on the AVS mod. Yes, you can. The AVS mod is calibrated specifically for the M22 coil, though. So for you, TCR mode is what we left for TCing other atomizers and stuff. But the M22, yeah. Let's see. All right. I'm going to answer one more question. Please do a mod setup video and post it on IG Reddit. I'm actually going to post this video to uh, Reddit, and I'm going to leave this up on IG unless it goes too long. So that's the problem I've been having with most of my videos. They go too long, and then uh, it won't let me post it up. So, <laughs> But uh, it's been a good good time hanging out with you guys. There's quite a bit of you in here tonight. So I'll try to do these lives as much as I can, but uh, my priority is getting this done and getting them shipped out to you. So Dan is the one that's doing the bulk of the programming right now because the stuff that he's doing is a little above my pay grade. <laughs> I invented the ESCC. I got the mod this far. Dan, uh, for those of you who don't know who Dan is, he's an engineer that recently joined us. He has a PhD in computational bioscience. He worked for Lockheed Martin and NASA before this. So he was just programming rockets and rovers, no big deal. And now he's programming our mod. <laughs> so yeah, what he's doing now, like I understand it perfectly, but I couldn't do it. And uh, I have mad respect for Dan in that regard. Um, and I'm proud of what I've done. So I got it this far and he's taking it to that extra that that extra mile, you know, um, we're going to exceed expectations here for sure. So, uh, I mean, even me, I'm, I'm so amped. You guys have no idea how great this is, but you will soon. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching everybody. It's been fun. And, uh, again, I love all of you. Um, we wouldn't be here without your support and, uh, you know, I, I hope to be doing this for many, many years to come. And, uh, it's what I love to do. I'm, I'm kind of a bit of a mad scientist. As you can see, I haven't had a haircut in forever. Uh, part of that's the mad scientist. Part of that's the COVID making haircuts nearly impossible to get. So whatever. I'm, I, it's just going to grow like I'm going to be Gandalf, you know, uh, in a year. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm signing off and uh, I'll see you next time.